Purdy again looking to break. Oh, lovely sidestep from Purdy. He's going to get in in the corner. He is. And that is why he is playing every game recently. Hello, rugby fans, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I am back with episode 14 of the Bristol Bears Rugby Challenge for Career Mode. We are back, and we are at Ashton Gate, where we will be taking on Saracens. So we've been in some good form recently. If you haven't already, go back and check out the previous episodes. We're on a bit of a roll. But here we are up against a tough Saracens team. And before we get into the match, please do drop a like. If you enjoy today's content, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. I get back to all of them. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. So here is the starting 15s for today's match against Saracens. We made a couple of changes. Uh, we've got Jake Walmore, Harry Thacker, Carl Singler comes back into the team after being away on international duty for the last few games. We've got Dave Atwood, Chris Vui keeping their places. The skipper, Stephen Luatua, Ben Earl, Nathan Hughes. We have Randall and Sheedy as the 9 and 10 combo. Luke Morahan. Siali Piatau, who's been playing well lately, Semi Radradra, Henry Purdy, who has been the man in form, and in real life he's been playing very, very well as well, so it's nice to see we got there first with his form in the game, and it is being replicated in real life. Max Malins also comes back into the team in real life, just coming back from international duty, and we've got him into the 15. Of course, Saracens, a good, good squad. No Owen Farrell or anything like that. They uh, are obviously in rebuilding mode on this game as well in real life. As well as in real life, sorry. So let's get straight stuck into it. I know it's been a week since uh, we've had a career mode episode, but as I explained um, on my uh, community tab, we had a little bit of an issue at home. One of my daughters came down with coronavirus symptoms and she had to have a test. Luckily, it did come back negative, but while we were waiting for two or three days for the test result, we all had to isolate, and it meant my house was absolutely chock-a-block with people during my normal recording slots. Uh, so, yes, many apologies about that, but hopefully everyone is well and safe. Looking forward to Christmas. Uh, let's get stuck into some action now. There are the system players for Bristol, so we've got some big names on the bench there. Pierre Tsao, Leon Lloyd, Andy Urin, Piers O'Connor, to name a few. They have got both Vinopolas, Maro Itoji, Farrell. So they're packing a lot on the bench. I'm not sure why they're not starting. But here we go. Callum Sheedy, you will notice as well, I have changed the camera angle. So this is my first episode of career mode as semi break through lovely there I was expecting them to uh, turn that over but we haven't we'll go straight to our forwards looking to make ground Harry Thacker bit of a more use it we go out left um, yep oh, out to touch so yep this is the first episode of career mode on the latest patch and if you don't know anything about the latest update to this game check out one of my videos um, I do a little description of what is in the patch and the latest updates um, but they have made a change to the sideline angle forward pass by Saracens we will certainly take that so they've adjusted it and I've decided to go with it I've been playing a lot of EA Sports Crouch. Rugby 08 recently Find. and um, although the Sit. previous camera is definitely a lot better um, as far as you know winning games and possession and control of the pitch um, not sure what happened there. I believe this camera is um, is much better for the viewer. It gives more of a reflection of real life. And uh, Purdy's breaking through. Lovely stuff. Purdy under the post go down. As I was saying, it gives a better reflection of real life rugby that you watch on the TV. And I just think it'll be more entertaining for you guys as viewers is to see it like that. But let me know in the comments down below if you prefer this camera or you prefer the older camera how do you enjoy viewing 
my episodes of career mode. It's totally up to you. Whichever you prefer, I shall do. And Henry Purdy is continuing in a rich vein of form going over there. We are still on pro difficulty. And I believe this is the first match of the career mode as well, which has some different weather conditions. They've updated that in the latest patch. Whereas before, it always seemed to be sunny. You could never... Um, I don't know if that's going to go over or not. Pretty terrible. Yeah, we'll take that. Lovely. Uh, yeah, there was never any nighttime games, anything like that, even if you selected it, and they have adjusted that in the patch. So hopefully going forward, we'll have some variation in times of day and weather conditions for these matches on career mode. But we will certainly take that. That is a very good start for us. Harry Randall with a good catch. Release. Saracen's putting us under pressure. Sheedy looking to get rid of the ball. And make some ground. Out into touch. So yeah, it's been a good solid start to this game. Looking to keep our rich vein of form going, aren't we? I mean, we are into the second half of the season now. Lovely take from Chris Vui winning that back. Race. We're obviously fighting to get into the top four of the Premiership playoffs. So a win over Saracens today would really help us. Dave Atwood bursting through. Let's see if we can get a few phases of play going here with our forwards. Chris Vui not really going anywhere. Let's see if we can string some more realistic. I think the patch has done okay. Morahan, lovely. Rubber kick. Harry Randall's there. If anyone, if he can get in there, he might be able to get it back. No. Nope. Good little bit of play there. Malins. Oh, he was going to kick. Didn't realise that was a Saracen Release. player there. We can get it out right here. Morahan might have some space down the touchline. He does, and he's. Rubber kicking it again. Did he pick that up? I think he did. Chris Vui going backwards. Benno. Oh, they've turned it straight over. I'm not sure what happened there. And they are now in acres of space. Max Malin. Oh, what a tackle that is. Getting the Saracen boy into touch. Gives us a chance to win it back. Still haven't adjusted the uh, tickers on the um, on the line out in the set pieces. They're still a little bit fast. But yeah, overall, I think the Charlie out to Henry Purdy about to get tackled. Semi Rodrigo, he can't get past the man there. Yeah, I think the update has spruced things up a little bit. This is very sloppy. Very very sloppy. Somehow we've managed to keep hold of the ball. Thought that looked a bit forward there, to be honest. Semi, out to Luke Morahan this time. Can he break through? No, and he's been angle chopped and he's out into touch. A disappointing there. A few times Luke Morahan's had space out on that wing. See what we can do here. See if we can win the ball back again. We managed to last time. No, not this time. Got the wrong position. Little kick into touch, and what a... Oh, no, 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 dead ball. Look for a minute. It's the only thing with this sideline camera. It's a bit harder to judge things, but... Dead ball for us. Not sure why number seven is right in Sheedy's face there. Just plop it right there. Lovely, lovely tackle. Oh, I thought we had a chance of turning that one over there with a bit of Jacqueline, but no good. Oh, Get him out of play again. No. Lovely offload from them. Looked like they were going out of play. Quite a few more tackles being broke since this update. Blimmin' how, how many was there? Unbelievable stuff. Just before half time, they have gone over. 
Looked like we were coming up against the Iron Man there. I, like I said, I have noticed that since the update. There's a few more broken tackles. There's one. There's, there's about five players around him there. Couldn't take him down. Couldn't take him down. Still couldn't take that chap down. Another pa uh, I don't know. I really don't know about that one there. There's nothing we can do about it. Looks like we may go in at halftime. Level pegging. Should be making that from there. And he has. So at half time of episode 14 we will go in at 7 points apiece against Saracens. We had been playing well. Perhaps not replicated in the scoreline unfortunately. And it's going to be a tricky, tricky second half. 58% possession, 30% territory, 6 kicks, 1 scrum, 1, 4 handling errors. Only nine tackles from the Bears to their 28. Let's get stuck straight into the second half and see what we can do. Make our mark. Yeah, as always, guys, please do drop a like if you enjoy the content. And then also leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the series. And then let me know your opinions. Do you want to see a certain player play or a certain tactic? or you know some more set pieces or anything like that out to Purdy he's not going to get past his man there yeah I'm open to all suggestions so just let me know in the comments sheedy oh, I thought we were going to find a gap there yeah we've won it yeah no worries lovely stuff in the ruck from the forwards going to go left again now Benno's broke a couple of tackles but making up some ground ah oh, terrible from Nathan Hughes luckily Siali's got the ball there it's good work from Siali cleaning up from Nathan Hughes Purdy breaks three solid defence yet again from Saracens See if we can go out the semi. Oh, I was going to attempt a little sidestep there. Couldn't quite do it. Dave Atwood bursting through a few tackles. It's good to see from Big Dave. Now Nathan Hughes is going to have a go. We're up to the halfway line almost. Ben Earl has gone past the halfway line. So some good phases of the play from our forwards. Atwood now, Sheedy, Piet's out, Morahan's got more space and he's knocked it on, unbelievable. How many more broke free? Oh dear. Advantage over. Advantage over, breaking tackles everywhere. Oh, I thought we had a chance there to win that back. Definitely something I've noticed here is the um, breaking of tackles. There's one, another one for example. Dave Atwood wins it back. Sheedy, Lua Tua. Let's get it out wide quickly. Radradra. Morahan. Down the wing. Luke Morahan. Lovely stuff. Go down under the posts. And that all stemmed from the turnover there and catching Saracens off guard on the left wing. Lots of space. Luke Morahan goes over for a lovely, lovely try. Siali out to semi. Lovely offload. Manages to get Morahan away and he puts the afterburners on and gets past the remaining Saracens defenders. It's a good stuff from Morahan there. Sheedy now should be a nice, simple conversion under the sticks. And we should be going ahead in this game once again. I mean, we are already, aren't we? But the conversion puts a cherry on the top. 14-7 with less than 20 minutes to go. Can we see this out? And perhaps... No, we can't do it now. I was going to make a few substitutions, bring some fresh legs on. Just wait for this kickoff now. I always forget to do it. I need to do it more often. Here we go, manage team. See who we can bring on. We're going to bring on 
and urine. Give Randall a bit of a breather there. He's putting a good shift. We're going to go Leon Lloyd. Probably for Morahan. That'll do for now, I think. Purdy with a great grab. Right, get, get in there. Oh, so lucky there. Took ages to get involved in that ruck. Right, hopefully no knock-ons. Let's just keep possession. Build up the phases. Steven Luatua breaking free the skipper. Ah, oh, and they've turned it over. No urgency there from us. No urgency in the ruck. Thacker does well to bring down the man. Oh, that is dangerous. That is a dangerous, dangerous pass. And they're breaking tackles again. Get him out of touch. That's it. He's got to be out. Yes, he is. Great defending from us there. A couple of subs now taking place. Don't worry, Morahan. I know you've scored. I know you've put in a good shift. But we need to rest your legs. Don't look like you're going to throw your rugby boot at me. Here we go. Let's see what we can do. Oh, beautiful. Bang smack in the middle there. So we will take that. A bit of more usable. We'll get it out. It's not going to go up. Urine. Oh, Andy Urine. It's come onto the pitch. And made a mistake instantly. Get him down. Turn that ball over. Race. Release. One more. Try and get him out of play. Release. Oh, they're gonna go over in the Andy Urine. What have you done, son? What have you done? Which way they're going? They're going that way. Get him out of touch. Oh, he's broken a tackle. And he's down. Unbelievable. TMO, come on. Did we hold him up? Come on, TMO. Give us a favour. Andy Urin instantly coming on and turning the ball over. Did we manage to hold him up there? The result of this match could depend on it. He's broken a tackle. I think that's Malin's there. No try. Five metre scrum. Whew. Unbelievable. Crouch. But now, Bind. now we've got some big defensive work to Sit. do here. A bit disappointed in the um, update that they did not patch the scrum just to make it possible for a turnover every now and then. Oh, lovely tackle from Walmore there. Looked a little bit high. Oh, get. Oh, unbelievable. They've finally gone over. That is the end of this match, and the result will all rest on the conversion we've done so well to hold him up the first time try not giving five meter scrum what a hit that was unfortunately in the end they have gone over and they've got a chance to tie this game or if we can get a bit of luck we may still win it it is slightly wide you would think on pro, uh, pro oh, it looks easy from there, doesn't it? Pro difficulty. He's made it. 14 points apiece. And this match will end a draw. Bit of a shame. I thought we played well enough to nick that one. Charge. <laughs> Andy Urine. Unbelievable. Comes on. Turns the ball over costs us the game but there we go Bristol Bears 14 Saracens 14 Morahan and Purdy with our two tries 67% possession Saracens boss territory seven kicks each one scrum each seven handling errors that's a bit of a disaster but that'll be it that'll be it for today's game Bristol Bears 14 Saracens 14 let's exit to the menu where we shall take a look at the table and see how things are going for us. Competition info. Let's, 
I like to first check out the fixtures from the previous round. So Bath have thrashed London Irish. Exeter have lost again, this time to Leicester Tigers. Harlequins have absolutely smashed Sale Sharks. The Saints have beat Wasps and Gloucester have beat Worcester. So if we look at the standings now, we are in sixth place on 40 points. Saracens are in fifth, so it was an important game, that one. Saints are there in fourth, Harlequins third, Gloucester second, Bath running away with the title. Well, not the title, obviously, but running away with winning the league section of the Premiership. Still plenty of games to go, and we are only five points away from that fourth place. So if we can win some more matches, we have still got a very good chance of finishing up in that top four. Exeter still bang smack bottom of the league. Sale not doing much better. <laughs> it's incredible to see. But there we go, guys. And in the next episode, we will be facing a Gloucester. So that'll be a good West Country derby and something to look forward to in episode 15. But I hope you've enjoyed watching today's episode, guys. Please do drop a like if you've enjoyed today's content. Leave a comment down below. I get back to all of them. Let me know what you think of the new camera angle and you know all sorts relating to this career mode, starting 15s, things like that. And I think you, any input from you guys is much appreciated. If you haven't already, then move that subscribe button and I shall see you in the virtual scrum.